So hello there, and welcome to Innsbruck with OK Neo. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a trip up to Prague, and then uh, potentially some VFRing. Then another trip uh, to Paris and back with uh, Senefix25 when he comes online. So I'm just going to quickly get us under... Yeah, it's my um, uh, <laughs> Twitch opening up in the background. Just mute myself. There we go. Let's change things a bit. So the uh, the aircraft's just going to prep itself. I'm going to swing us on to so you guys can see FSX. Uh, any adverts should now be over. Hello, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's the. Again, I didn't realize I was shooting through three twenties into here. Or bigger. Anyway, so uh, we'll get V pilot up and we'll get connected. Uh, well, I think that approach at Innsbruck's on right now, so we should be able to talk to him if he's active. Um, yeah. And I know Prague's slowly but surely coming alive. Let's just check Vatastic or Vatspy, whatever it is you, you guys use. I, I personally use uh, Vatastic. It's internet based, I just got jump onto it, and it's like no, none of my bandwidth to use, basically. Okay, I just saw it pop up there before I knocked it off. So, yeah, we've got Innsbruck uh, approach call signs on. And we've got ATIS as well, with Max Hearn. We're then off to Prague, where we've got ground. Yeah, got ground, tower, and approach on. Sweet! Connect as Charlie Sierra Alpha 453 and we are on A319. Let me connect. Oh, the servers are offline. Server UK1. What the hell? There we go. We're working now. So we'll just wait till that tastic boots up. There we go. One one nine decimal two seven. And it's already telling me it can't load aircraft in. Okay. What an interesting approach now. I'm going to quickly fat my flight plan. What the heck? That's broken. Yeah, apologies for the beep box. It's uh, number one ninety nine 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 nine. And the fact that I deleted my uh, default FSX aircraft by accident. I will file to Rani as our alternate apply. There we go. Still glitched. I can't do anything about that right now. This is just completely broken itself. Anyway, whilst we're with that peeping going on in the background, which I can't mute because if I mute it, I'll lose all ATC. Uh, we're going from Lowy to Lukapura to Lukatuba. Departure time is going to be about 15.35 Zulu. Time on route, 1 hour 20. Fuel available for 3 hours too. Cruising altitude will be 270. Full on nav, send and receive text for IFR. Equipment suffix, not required. Filing. Okay, that's away now. Flat pan's now filed. Got a uh, built-in call sign around here, apparently. Around here. Nothing going up to that. Wait. A oh, the only guys on the ground up in Innsbruck right now. I'm just going to check my call sign because I'm pretty sure I know it, but I'm just going to confirm. Um. Oh, 
Okay, so our call sign today is going to be CSA, our chat SR. Okay, we can in the meantime we can initialize this. So fuel. We're taking 155 people on with us today. Cargo is going to be at five tons. Fuel is going to be at five tons as well, I think. I believe. We'll start loading the fuel and loading the cargo. Passengers will start boarding shortly. Okay, we'll request boarding, I think, because we will be getting underway pretty soonish. Okay, now we'll quickly initialize the FMC before the uh, ATC. We we'll call it ATC even. But look, I might even have a cover it. Nope, no cover it. Then from there, we're going to be going to LKTB as alternate. Call sign today is CSA543. Ghost index is going to be 85. Cruise level, I think we said it was 270, didn't we? I'm going to confirm that. It from the OFP through the flight plan. Yep, 270. I think it's, it's kind of pretty much due north, so I'm not sure what altitude to go with. Um, flight plan. So, we're going to Rasta. Rasta is not allowed as my initial waypoint. There we go, Rasta. Right, so then we're going to be going on airways. And from Rashtar, we are going on a. Airways, Shepard and Park Airways, 2552, Sniper 140, inbound RTT. Inbound RTT. Airways, 2552, Sniper 140, inbound RTT. Airways, 2552, Sniper 140, inbound RTT. Airways, I think I had a problem with one of the air traffic controls that I couldn't hear him, so I cranked it. Um, it was SBG, I believe. Then it's the Yankee 700 to Nenum. 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 Yankee 700. They're looking for a departure from 2-8. Uh, going with Nen Nenum, not Nemum. Is really boring now. I'm just going to call him. From my two, two eight. I've got two six. So it must be zero eight then. I'm going to. I can presume which star is going to give me. Yeah, he's just got a bit busy right now. You've got Berlin. 
747 coming in here. Oh crap, this is going to be scary. Innsbruck Approach, hello, it's check out. It's CSA 453 with you for the com check. CSA 453 is on the ground at Innsbruck. Crap, which send did I go for? I'm on a parking position, matey. I'm not an idiot, I don't connect on the runway. Did it once, I got too scared to do it again. I'm just going to text him this. Quickly initialize the weather because it's for some reason dropped out. So I'm coming from my 0880 departure, so it's going, it's going to be coming in the hard way, I think. Yes. How, why he's asking for minimum clean speed. Okay, dude. So, APU has to come on. My start switch can come on. That actually, we can leave those off for the time being. And we can start closing doors. We are fully loaded and plumbed. We're just waiting for some ATC clearance and we'll be getting underway. Should be text for me. <laughs> yeah, the reason I texted him was that um, obviously my clearance is second priority to him bringing aircraft in and out of the airfield. So hence that happened. Um, otherwise, I would normally call him. You know, if it was clearance, I'd do a verbal call. Apparently couldn't see us. Close. There we go. We've got one door left to close now. I'm just going to do a single click on it and see how that what that does. Yeah, I'm going to just have to leave that door open until I get taxi clearance. I'll push or start clearance. Sorry, and then I just. Put that in as a panel state? I don't know, can I? Return state. Yeah, I don't want it to be in taxi state because I haven't been having engines up running. I'm just going to get that door closed. Aircraft doors. It's loading complete. Yeah. Load instant. And anyway, we've got loading complete now. So we just close the aft left door. That's why it wasn't letting us close it, because there were still people getting on. And it would have meant leaving the passengers behind. Okay, we can. Working off the fact that we're going to be taking off from runway 08, we can just do that for the time being and do our performance initialization. So, flaps 1, how does that look with us? Now, nah, flaps 2. That just reduces V1 slightly. Yeah, we'll do flaps to it's well, we've got enough space.
Okay, now I'm just going to confirm the brake is set and the trucks are released. Okay, I'm just going to wait for him to read me my clearance. I'm just going to check this pen actually works. No, it doesn't. Good job, I checked. Anyway, hello chat. Sorry, I'm kind of ignoring it, but at the minute I'm just trying to get underway. Nobody watching anyway. Let's see, let, let, let's watch the guys coming in. A bit of, a bit of fun. Where are they? Oh, that's one. <laughs> Go around. Why is he flying a 747 in Tainsbrook? What made him think this was a good idea? Oh, hang on, he's approaching us from that end. Well, these guys are going to have an RA. It's going to completely screw me in this end. Yeah, it is. Where's the other guy who's Abilene? Ah! You can do this clean. Has he got reverses out? Uh, ah, balloon. Hello, uh, yo. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna crash if he's doing this. He's high. Why is he climbing? He's high. Yeah, it's thinking. It's saying actually telling me to stop your engines. Come on. Ah, proof that you can do a steep approach in a 737 Ooh, 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 ooh. Rip. Rip Rooney. Oh, he's established, visually, anyway. He's cranked over in some crazy crosswind right now. It's not that bad. Obviously, he might not be using the same scenery as I am, so bear in mind that if he does land off runway, he's potentially landing on runway. Just using a slightly different scenery. There, there we are! Look at that! Ooh. Well, actually, he's looking quite good. He's a, l a little on the low side, a little low. But otherwise, he's pretty good. Oh, I forgot I could go this way. Master 3 Juliet, flight level 120, I'll have to check back for the squawk, what's the squawk actually? 4674. Alright, so, we're now going to, um, so going to go back to departures, back from runway 08. Oh my word, right. Departure, runway 08 now. Rasta 3 Juliet. I just saw it there. Rasta 3 Juliet. Insert. Four six seven four. Four. Right, there we go, and that's done. And initial altitude is flat for one, two, zero. Innsbruck approach, hello, uh, CSA 453, ready for the push and start. Uh, 
Okay, so I, I can do my startup now. I suppose. It's quite a small airport, so I'm not going to bother single engine taxiing today. Uh, we'll start number two. And APU bleed goes on. Pumps all go on, even though the centre tank is actually empty right now. But it just declutters the overhead. But they auto cut out on this thing, if I remember correctly. Going. Oh, he's on, on the neighbouring stand. Stop hearing you from the pushback procedure. Bolt. any issues by doing this. How big is the apron here? Yeah, that's going to be enough for us to pull off the stand. Okay, that was just an issue through GSX and didn't want to end up pacing the wrong way. Okay, so we said flaps two lumps. Two. Spoilers armed. Start one. CSA 453 Innsbruck approach. We're ready to taxi. Taxi to the hold of runway 08 QNH 1012. CSA 453. Okay, I'll just taxi off. QNH 1011, CSA 153. 453 correction. Okay. It's changed for him, not for me. So there's no point in me actually changing it right now. Cabin crew, please take your seats. Okay, we're not going to set auto brake max. APU off, APU bleed off. It's off roading. Oh, 747 coming into Innsbruck. Oh, rip. <laughs> Line up runway 08, backtrack is approved. Behind the landing, 747. <laughs> Hang on, I need to see if he rolls off the end here. Has he stopped? No, he hasn't. <laughs> I just want to see if he rolls it off the end. Enter. So, uh, entering checks. Lights. Camera. Okay, we just need to do a quick flight control check when we get out. We'll do it once we uh, get into the uh, takeoff position. There. English, hello, where are you? Full right. Full left. Neutral. Full back. Full forward. Neutral, full left rudder, full right rudder, neutral. There we go. Flight control check complete. Okay, we're now ready for takeoff. It's going to be a toga, a toga takeoff, not a derated takeoff. So we're going to have some fun on that front. Good for takeoff, runway 08, CSA 453. Just slight taps of tow brake. I'm not, apparently. Rip. Ripper Rooney. Right, full power. Forty percent. Life stabilize. Full power. Toga.
Oh dear one. B1. Rotate. B2. Positive right. Landing gear up. I think I could have rejected at the point of, of that I took off at, but I uh, We'll just bump up to uh, flaps two, well, flaps that speed, about 180, 184, which is flaps two up speed. No issues with the climb up today. Climb. I'm just going to confirm the position of the uh, throttle lever. Perfect. Another trip controller. Who's going? We're going to be talking to next, or now got French French controllers on now. Innsbruck's on. Um, yeah. We're out. We're climbing through the valley. Okay, we can. I'm going to take a little path up. Thank you. Who's going to Prague from Innsbruck? Except me, on who's on Vatastic now? There's only the Austrian on the ground. He's is he and he's coming into Innsbruck, not from Munich. Hmm. Yeah. This is pretty though. You gotta admit. Flying through the Alps is pretty. Okay, let's just go and clean. Now, can go to on. There we go. T cash should come on as well. Mm, I thought it came on when I squawked. Climb flight level 100, uh, CSA 453. Okay, let's just stop and climb at 100 then. Flight level 160, correction, CSA 453. Okay, that's a bit of a Swear he said 100 there. 100, zero zero, sorry. I should say. I'm just going to bomb it up to 250. Well, 250 odds will do us in the climb. Actually, just left click. There we go. That's quite an enjoyable cut to departure, actually. Nice. It's nice and calm. It's, I like, I think Innsbruck is. Yeah, it's nice and calm to fly out of. And then you get all the nice picturesque scenery, and there's not that many people go here. And it's really nice and relaxed. Whereas if you go somewhere like Gatwick or Heathrow, you're really, really tense. And you know, so that's one of the benefits of flying by yourself on Vatsim, not doing group flights. He says as he goes to do a group flight tonight. Ooh, Paris is already live. We've got nothing in Germany yet, but uh, what are you looking good? Looking good. Good ones. Yeah, I can hear my dad's in. 
I'm gonna have to go and speak to him when I get handed off. Proceed direct to Rasta, CSA 453. That was just sheer luck, I knew where I was going from there, like. Going to Unicom, 122 decimal 8. Uh, bye bye. Direct to Rasta. I'm going to. Going to Unicom now. So it's just calling my opportunity to go FK and say hi to my dad because I haven't actually seen him today. Because he left before I got up. That's just our frequency. Nice and relaxed. Oh, bit of precipitation. I'm going to check my radar, weather radar. Yeah, it's off. We don't need weather radar in this. We just. Because I know what the weather forecast is for you. If I looked at the forecast, there's no thunderstorms at all today. Right then guys, so plan is to stick you hopefully, fingers crossed this works. Got no flight plan order, don't I? Have I crashed the sim? No I haven't. And then I can I'll have to export the route in here. Oh I'll close PFPX. Yeah. I'm going to be. I'm just going to go straight up to what was my filed height again? Two seventy, wasn't it? Yep, two seventy. That's left click. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go FK for a few minutes, uh, just to go and say hi to my dad, as I say, because I've been out all day. He's been out all day. Sorry, and I haven't actually spoken to him yet. So we'll see you all in a bit, guys. Bye bye. FPS drops. Hmm.
Hi right, guys, I'm back. Uh, why aren't you just approaching Rasta? Oh, how far truck was Rasta away? Um. So I'm seeing if, if what's going on in the world of flights, I mean. The way at place I'm in now, yeah, I'm kind of halfway there now. Halfway there. Whoa. Oh, sorry, burps. Burpees. He was on approach tonight, though. But there was an approach. She's nice. <laughs> uh, and we were in town. I've got some, we've got a nice team on tonight. Now, sometimes they're a little bit abrupt with you, but most of the time, these guys are uh, pretty nice. I'm using a uh, new Sennheiser uh, it's basically like a game purifier it purifies the audio, so I'm just wondering if that makes any difference. It seems to make some difference in terms of the audio I'm getting out of the PC. Uh. Whoa! FPS. I've just got rid of me. Blouse is Strasbourg, I believe. If I do that, it's fine. I might just reload the um, thing in a slightly lower resolution. There we go. Sorry guys, it's going to reload. I'm just going to go away and grab an iPad so I can watch the chat. guys, sorry that the stream is still frozen, it's currently reloading scenery objects. Um, I need to get this lag when I try to convert some. <laughs> weird that, isn't it? Actually, it's not weird, it's perfectly sensible. But the FPS will just have shot up without me doing that. Yeah, it has. My hypothesis was right. But just lower the render quality and everything is fine. And the best, but it doesn't affect you guys, it only improves your experience. 
because I only stream in 480p because I've got a horrible sim. And. Ooh, 3D contrast. chat how are we doing I'm still trying to get to grips with the iPad controls so apologies for that in advance I am streaming more than a black screen right no yeah I'm streaming that's mint anyway hello chat I'm trying to get a, you know, get around this You can see the turbulence encounter we're presently having. Okay, Neo. I don't understand how the fly by wire system cannot deal with our FPS settings. I mean, half the world must ha must be able to pull this at full 1080p. Alright, I'm going to have to go back into the settings again. Sorry guys, I'm just jumping into the settings again. I'm trying to pull this down a bit. There we go, let's see what this does. I've just toned everything down in terms of the um, settings. Again, it shouldn't affect you guys too much. I'm just going to go on YouTube and listen to some music in my headset. I've got my headset on one ear and uh, yeah, I've got like a one ear headset at the minute. This is getting a bit better now. I've just pulled all the textures and settings down. There we go. Let's see what I can do in terms of the options. Switch that on. I like that. A little bit of background chatter. Yeah, I'm not going to pause it to the drop. Doha. Ooh. Bahrain Center. I'm kind of tempted, I'm not sure. Oh, I love this one. So I'm listening to music in the background. I can't tell you what I'm listening to because that would be pretty copyright breach already, but yeah.
have to do it. That's the solution. Don't look at any screens. I'm just literally going through this, getting rid of all the things I don't need running right now. It's done, it's done, yeah, I got rid of a few things now, which has done a little bit for the FPS. Okay, why don't you send us more one too? I'm afraid to say, I haven't even started listening to the song I want to listen to yet, but I've got to pause it. Prague Centre, hello, it's CSA453 with you, 15 miles from Nimum. You need to turn that ATC sound off. Uh, CSA453 at fl flight level 270. Derek Gossack, CSA four five three. Gossack. It's actually our final waypoint on this route. How's, how's life going in the chat? Let me know. Actually, I can do it on here, can't I? Descending to the front level 250 CSA 453. I'm just going to try and get the plates up before Prague. Bremen. What really it sounds like as well. Actually, I fancy fire on here. Oh, don't let me. for the Gossack 2 Tango at runway 06 CSA uh, 453 Arrivals LS 06 Gossack 2 Tango insert I'm actually on rocket route right now to get my charts. Uh, I can't put them on the string because I'm actually looking at them on my iPad to. Yeah, I'm gonna. What time is it now? 
encampments to want to uh, uh. Braha Center CSA four five three requesting further descent. Level one seven zero CSA four five three. All right, let's just get myself a uh, arrival chart. Should I get the ILS chart? That's really only the more pro appropriate one to have open. Welcome to the jungle. That's what's here every day. Performance approach phase. Fifteen degrees on the ground. QNH one zero one two. Winds are unknown, transition altitude to 5,000. Um, I think we can even. Yeah, actually, well, actually yeah, we've got auto, auto brake medium full reverse. That gives us the best vacation time. Because I'm not obviously sure how busy Prague is right now. I'm just a ma managed descent. Sorry, and, yeah. The aircraft should pull up very shortly just to. Sorting out a little bit of the FPS issues right now. Okay, run with your six. So, what's our IAF? What's our IAF on this? Per this? A caver. Alright, so a caver is kind of like an almost a downwind leg over the top of its Um Potentially going to ask direct for, for direct Papa Romeo 740 if it's not too busy for him. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to drop straight down to 170 and just stay there as long as I possibly can. Okay, see belt signs can come on though. Uh, nothing else needs to happen. Course is 062, course is 062, yeah, it's input itself. Arc. CSA 453 Proc Center. CSA 453 Prague Center, um, just looking at our approach, wondering whether we could take a shortcut to a caver waypoint. Going to Prague approach on 127.57. CSA four five three. Uh, Proper approach. Hello, it's CSA four five three with you at uh, seventeen thousand. Requesting direct a cave away point. And further descent. Uh, one zero zero. Okay. Uh, CSA four five three requesting direct to Kaver if that's not too much trouble. Uh, we're happy to go on navigation at this time, CSA 453.
sending flight for 100 and connects flag vectoring SCSA 453. Believe it or not, the uh, approach controller now was actually my first ever VATSIM controller. Uh, text. That's no, just a component for me. Yeah, I bet it's VPilot stressing out over what to model match those aircraft as that's causing these FPS drops. And the fact that that's Prague over there. So it's just wanting to render it in now. What do we like in relation to airports? Just out of sheer interest. Okay, I'll then. Hmm. But I could get down to 4,000 by a K though, but anyway. Even without the chicane. Yeah, if you notice, there's discontinuity there, because uh, that's why I'm supposed to expect radar vectoring. So we'll see how that goes. Actually, I'll get rid of the discontinuity, because there's no point having it there. It's even, yeah, it's, you see, it says manual after a caver. So I'm just going to delete that. And then we've got just that. So in case we don't get vectoring, we can all navigate around that without having to go into heading select mode. Okay. So I'm going to go auto brake medium, no reverse on landing. That's going to be the best bet because then we'll not use much uh, uh, fuel on the arrival. Okay, let's see, I'm not near 5,000 just yet. And our decision height is 198 feet, because it's going to cap you while I sit at the centre, apparently. Um, perf. Next. So it's 1011. And our decision point is 198 feet on radio. Do that just when I'm bored on, on here, seriously. Uh, seriously. Spoilers around. Yeah, perhaps that should be a normal mode. That's what's causing the FPS drop. God. Uh, Prague, I'd have had that window now. Should be able to save that now. Yeah, we would so manage 4,000 by a caver. I don't know if I meant to call it a caver. I just seem to. Alright, so information's in November when we contact town. It's pretty tame this arrival, like. I do need to look at the uh, I'm going to have to have a quick look at the SIDs as well so I get another the SID, I want stars damn it I'm going to have star runway 06 there we go I'm on flyrocketroute.com to get the uh, approach points it's quite a nice tool actually, I like it Okay, so where's SLP one? So sorry, right, no speed limits on there. Uh, speed limit point one. We don't actually have a speed limit point on this approach, do we? No, no. Actually, they do that on um, the Bosch and Montango, but we don't. Woo! But now we can hit two twenty knots. This will be level. Um. I'm going to be at 5,000 feet now, but ayo. I'm 
I'm gonna just trust her to bring me down because yeah. Papa Romeo seven one eight. Yeah, we should actually be at four thousand feet by now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna ask for descent. For her approach, CSA four five three requesting further descent to four thousand feet. Turn left, heading 310 for the ILS 06 and descending to 7000. Uh, flight level uh, 70, apologies. And 7000. Ah, okay, now that we're getting rid of 10k, we can do this, we can do that, we can do this, we can do this, we can leave that off, we can leave that on. Um, yeah, this is literally how I do things right now. I can do that. I can do this. I can do that. He actually thinks we're going to get down and down. Um, spoiler. Actually, I'm going to take out the half spoiler. Half. 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 That's a little bit over half. There we go. Heading 3 1. Oh. Again, guys, apologies for the beeping. Wow, that's a lot of controllers on now. I'm going to actually plot this as being direct to Kaiba right now. And then it'll go, oh my god, you're high. CSA 453 descending to 4,000 feet, QNH 1011. Turn left, heading 290, descending to 4,000 feet, vectoring for the ILS approach, 106 to land. Never talk that quickly in my life. That's QNH checked. Check. I've actually been vectored in towards Barrocks, which is a bit further back, and I've uh, been told basically, yeah, hit the end of the last 250 knots and stop in time. I didn't actually land that far, uh, well, that unstabilised, I should call it. Yeah, there's somebody on the run over looks like, so that's just the airport, we're not that close yet. Good DME fix on that. But okay, I'll... That's not for us. Ratev isn't even an approach fix, it's a departure fix. Just saying. Ratev. I know for Ratev. Is that PA? Yeah, it's Clipper. I might actually do that. I might do a Clipper flight next. I'm waiting. Jason, who's sent to fix too fast, got a headache at the minute, so he's not flying for at least an hour and a half. Might go down to Ostrov after this, I'm not sure. Definitely not in the Airbus, though. 4,000 feet. It's pretty much, yeah, it's intercept height for the ILS, isn't it? Yeah. Turning right heading 030, clear for the ILS approach, runway 06, TSA 453. Right, quick, slow down. Okay. 
Oh, he's, he's a little bit behind me. 220 knots in the, in the turn. This aircraft can bleed speed a lot better than 7.3, which is what I was flying the last time I had I, I had to do this. Um, yeah. She'll make 180 in a minute. Look. That's 180 knots, so... Okay. Just go for a short one, I'll pull a short one. Gear, spoilers round. I'm putting gear down a little bit earlier just to let me get some. Let the, get the aircraft into what's called landing mode. Which I'm not going to go flap 3 just yet until we intercept the, the ILS. Yeah, I'm going to go flap 3 now though. Oops, that was a bit of a overpull. Of course this aircraft doesn't descend until you're on bloody. Just gonna CSA 453 Rosnia Tower on 118.1 correction. 118.1 one, uh, one one correction. Uh, Nasty Channel. 118.1. Uh, no crumbs. Wrong frequency. Prague Tower, hello, it's CSA 453 on the ILS to land. Runway uh, 06 at Praha. It's a bit of a mistake. To land, runway 06, uh, CSA 453. Apparently I don't have the scenery engaged for some reason. I uh, know I have... Um, there we go, that's what I want. We're actually coming in pretty low, but it's, a, it's actually going to turn into an okay landing, I think. We're just going to get trimmed for the descent, and then we're going to have to disconnect the autopilot. Okay, I'm kind of annoyed I haven't got Prague scenery installed again. I have to reactivate it, when I have to reinstall it, sorry, when I, when I land after this stream. That's just me pushing the wrong button there, guys. Apologies. Okay, descending. Huh. One disconnected five. Please don't miss him. Ooh, we're at France Cargo. What aircraft is that? Is that a 7 7? Oh, it looks like an A300. Sweet. Shhh. Don't know if it's a 777. 777-200. Float. Your braking is kicked in now. Yeah, I'm, I need to make the next turn off. Tow break. Oh, 
is it frustrating? Um, I just tried to spread a gate stand. CSA 453 vacating Charlie. Going to ground on one to one decimal nine SCSA four five three Nasty Chanel. This is how I I get my conversational check back up. on the ground. Hello, it's CSA 453, currently vacated Charlie from runway 06, request taxi to parking. <laughs> Taxing to stand 7 via Lima Golf and Juliet, CSA 453. I've never talked this fast in my life. Handling a prong actually done for, by CSA ground handling for CSA. Just saying GSX. Um, right, I'm just going to quickly get an error on chart up because I just as I can. Whoops. This is what happens when you try to drive and you, you're not looking. You need to get the transponder off. Disconnect. Ah, shit. Connect, connect, transponder off. Right, so I vacated Charlie, it's via, it's via Lima, Golf and Juliet. Right, I know exactly where I'm going now. I'm on Delta. Right. Shoot. Yeah, guys, this is just taking it to a cock up. I'm considering just warping to the stand. To save myself any further embarrassment. We've got two piers on this scenery. So this is Pier Bravo. And I'm parking at stand seven, which is actually on Pier A, so it's, we should, hopefully we should see it when we come around the corner. Hello, easy. I'm going to steer around him because you get so many people shouting about um, <coughs> people crashing into them and taxiing through a row of parked aircraft. Actually, it's because you've got different scenery to me, mate. And you pulled quite a long way forward if you don't. Yeah, that's the stand we're going for, all right? No more embarrassment for me today. Yeah, I'm just going to actually steer in from this taxiway, even though apparently there's two parallel taxiways in this scenery. Which Okay, parking 
cassette. Engine one off. Engine two off. What have you said in terms of my feedback? You parked a bit too far in a bit. Well, actually, I parked where you told me to, matey. Um, oh, shit. That's awkward. Quick, get the ground power plugged in. Right, yep. That's on. There we go. I know we're going to have to flaps out, but the maintenance asked us to do that. I didn't tell you that, guys. Program CSA 453 is on blocks, shutting down. Thanks for the service. Bye bye. I'm going to reinstate my scenery. Which is where I'm going to have to stick you guys in the hold. The hold. Um, <clears throat> oops, webcam's still on for that one. Yeah, webcam's actually lying behind, behind like my, my monitor because I don't use it at the minute. Uh, Prague actually installed at the minute. I'm going to be embarrassed if I don't. Oh my word, I'm going to have to be embarrassed. I haven't actually even got it downloaded. <gasps> I had it downloaded on my laptop before well, that died, but I don't have it downloaded in here at this stage. That's awkward. Vatsim events. Actually, that's Vatsim check, isn't it, really? But there's an event going on. Well, there was one going on this morning. Ba -ba -dum. Actually, guys, I'm probably going to have to knock it on the head tonight with this stream. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.